Hi everyone, welcome to this wood-fired workshop at Manor from Devon Cooking School. This week we're going to be making some crispy duck breasts, some colourful braised vegetables, a real treat. We don't get to eat duck very often, so this is going to be fantastic. The first thing we want to do is prepare the duck breasts and as you can see, we've got a really nice layer of fat on these duck breasts. But we want some of that fat to render out during the cooking. So I need to score the duck breasts, which will allow the fat to run out. It's a really very sharp knife. And I want to make these as accurate as possible so it looks nice. So I'm trying to score them about a centimeter or so apart. I want to go through the skin and if possible, not into the, to the meat. So we're after this nice diamond pattern where I've scored into the fat. Then I'm going to sprinkle some salt over those. And just leave those in a cool spot while I get on with everything else. Now before I prepare the vegetables, I'm just going to take a look at the oven, make sure that's ready and clear the floor ready for cooking. And I'm going to use a fire retainer to keep that all out of the way. So I should now have a nice hot floor towards the back of the oven. Ideal for heating up a pan. In my mix today, I've got some butternut squash. I've got peppers, orange and red, red and white onions. We're going to have a little pinch of chipotle peppers and a cinnamon stick, some star anise with a good glug of olive oil. <laughs> Tossing all of those around so they get coated. I'm also going to be adding some orange juice to braise the vegetables in. The pan should be nice and hot now, so we're going to pop the vegetables in. Okay, so now to the duck breast, which we want to render some fat out of. So it's actually going to go into a cold pan with a tiny splash of oil to start things off. Just a little bit of vegetable oil. Skin side down. And we don't want it to cook too quickly because we need it to warm up and start rendering out that fat. So a cold pan at the front of the oven. I can still hear our vegetables braising away, simmering away. And I'm also going to add a little bit of cherry sawdust just to give us a little hint of smokiness in the oven as we're cooking these duck breasts. And now I can hear the duck starting to sizzle and spit a little bit at the front of the oven. You may also be able to see that I've got a lovely little bit of smoke swirling around in there. So I just want to show you what's happening in the pan. So you can see we've got a little sizzle on there. Not masses yet, I haven't got a lot of colour on there, but importantly, I'm rendering out some fat. And I'm going to take this off. We may be able to use that later for potatoes or something else. But I'm going to let that go on for a little bit longer render out a little bit more fat before we crank up the heat a little bit and crisp up the skin. So now the duck's starting to render, we're going to leave that rendering a little bit and check the vegetable. So off there, and I'm just using a knife to check that the squash is cooked, everything is cooked all the way around. Wonderful. I'm going to leave that to cool down a little bit. I'm going to take off a little more of that fat. 
You can see how much more has come out of the duck. If we take a look underneath, you can see that's starting to get some colour. But now I want to bring the heat up a little bit so that we colour those up a little more and start to get that lovely crispy skin. So I could put the duck towards the back of the oven where we'd have more floor heat, but then I'd also have a little bit too much heat all around and I'd roast it a little bit too quickly, which I don't want to do. So what I'm going to do is show you a little trick for heating up at the front of the oven, very simple. Bring some embers over and now we've got a really lovely hot bed of embers to give us some heat from below. So within less than a minute those are up to a really good sizzle. I'm going to watch them really closely, keep a little eye underneath to make sure that they're not browning too quickly. If they are I'll take them off the embers and put them back onto the floor of the oven. But now we're going to get some nice heat into there, crisp up the skin, flip them over for a minute or so at the end and they should be done. So the ducks had two or three more minutes. So there we've got a really nice skin colour coming on there. I'm going to turn those over. A little sprinkle of salt at this point helps to draw the residual moisture out of the skin and then back into the other oven for about one more minute. So that's been another minute in the oven. The duck feels like it's really firmed up nicely. So we're going to set this aside to rest. And this does want a really good rest. Five, even ten minutes before we slice into it so it retains as much moisture as possible. So everything's finished and we can plate something up. So I'll dispense with the star anise and the cinnamon. And you can see we've still got these lovely vibrant colours in the salad. We're also going to have a little zest of orange, sprinkle of chopped chives, so we're ready to carve. And we're hoping to see it nice and moist and still with some colour inside. That's looking great. So there we are, crispy duck breast, salad of colourful vegetables, all done in the wood-fired oven. Thanks for joining us at this wood-fired workshop. If you've enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel where we regularly produce new wood-fired recipes. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.